I don't know how to start this. Oh. Try about three different intros and none of them sound very good. Oscar season in the UK starts a lot later than it does in America. America gets most of the movies in November and December, whereas in the UK we get them in January, February, mostly January. And I always find it quite funny when I hear Americans talking about how January is the the worst month in terms of movies when where I live is actually the best. So I have been catching up on all the Oscar movies that everyone else has already seen. But what can you do? Room was by far the film that has hit me the hardest. Probably ever. Brief premise of Room. A mother has been trapped in a shed for about seven years by a man that kidnapped her when she was a teenager. Somewhere along the lines she had a son called Jack and while living in this room she has tried to shelter him from the outside world so that he doesn't think there's anything else that exists out there because otherwise he'd only want to get out and see the world and from the way Ma, Ma saw it as they call her in the movie as her son calls her that was not going to happen there were moments during this film where I just kind of had to shut down I was sat in the theater and I just I wished I was alone in a room ironically enough, watching it by myself so I could just let it out without worrying what other people around me would think. I can't remember specifically what moment it was, but there was a moment about two thirds of the way through where I just could not handle it and I just sh shut my eyes and I covered my face and I just kind of convulsed slightly. I, I, I was crying the whole way through, basically. I had tears streaming down my face the entire way through. But there was just a moment that I just had to switch off and I couldn't bring myself to look at the screen again because it was just so, it wasn't sad. It was just heart-wrenching. Firstly, to state the obvious, Brie Larson in this movie is extraordinary. I can't recall a single female performance that has hit me harder than hers has, like the movie itself. No woman has reduced me to tears this much and to feel so much for her, ever. If this woman does not win the Oscar for her performance, I will sue. I will actually sue the Academy for breach of contract, for not doing what they were supposed to do. Because if anyone else wins this award, it's it's void. I'm sorry, it's void. They, I've seen most of the performances that are nominated in that category, and there is no way that anyone can beat out Brie Larson in this category. There is no way. Similarly, Jacob Tremblay, who played Jack, gave possibly the best child performance I've ever seen in a movie. I found myself when watching it imagining what the director would say to this boy to get him to act the scenes and I couldn't even begin to process what it would be like for an 11 year old boy that's how old Jacob Tremblay is to be able to act such heart-wrenching serious scenes with such mature content as well as he did. There's a particular scene in the movie, I won't spoil, but I was just thinking, how is this child able to do this so well? I think I'd break down if I was asked, if I was an actor and I had to do the scene that this child had to do, I think I'd break down. I don't think I'd be able to do it. So that was why the campaigning of this movie was slightly disappointing to me. I wish they would have pushed for him as well as Brie Larson to be nominated. I mean, I don't think he would have won because, come on, Leonardo DiCaprio and The Revenant. <laughs> I think it was somewhat confusing to push for him to be supporting actor when he's in literally every scene in this movie. The, the child, Jacob Tremblay carries this movie. If there is a scene that Brie Larson is not in, he is in it. If there is a scene that Brie Larson is in, he is in it. He he's the only thing in this movie that's constant and I feel like promoting him for supporting actor was a mistake on the production company's part. There are scenes in this movie where Jack realises that he should have more than he has in the room and even though it's all he knows he expects to have them as you would as a child and Ma tries to explain to him you know Jack we cannot have these things and he's five he can't process it properly and the heartbreaking thing was watching Ma react to it, knowing she couldn't help it, but at the same time she was getting frustrated with her own child, who ultimately is the only thing keeping her going, and seeing her snap and lose her temper with Jack over something that she wishes she could give him was just so hard to see. 
this film reminded me a lot of Life is Beautiful, uh, which I'd seen for the first time not too long ago, really. Uh, that film also hit me extremely hard. I cried in front of a room of my classmates watching it. I don't like to talk about it. But the strength that this parent must have had to get their child through such a terrible ordeal with such motivation was both incredibly tragic and incredibly motivating. The film was also incredibly well shot. I remember feeling claustrophobic myself in the scenes where they were trapped in this one room. I found myself curling my arms around my knees and bringing them up to my chest just so I felt enclosed in my own body rather than feeling like I was in the room with them. And that I think is the work of an incredibly talented director and film crew. I was thinking about this film for hours and days and I'm still thinking about it now and I want to see it again. I don't re-watch films very often because um, I just always like discovering more, I've got a lot to catch up on. But I want to see this film again. There's a scene in the trailers um, that show Jack in the light and he's looking up. And I remember when that scene came on in the cinema, my eyes just went really wide. It was like I'd been trapped in a dark room and was seeing light for the first time. I felt like I was Jack, which was insane because I'd only been in this room for, in the room, in the theater for about 45 minutes. I'd say, watching the film, and I felt like I hadn't seen the light ever, and that is a good sign of immersion. Overall, this film just played with me. It reached into my stomach and just twisted and churned and grabbed my heart and ripped it apart. It was just... I find it difficult to find the words. It's difficult to find the words because I just... When a film hits you that hard, it's something like you've never felt before, and I definitely felt that walking out of this film. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to watch another film. I didn't want to go to sleep because I just kind of wanted to sit and think about it. I would give this film a 9 out of a 10, maybe even a 10. It just attacked me with the feels. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's best picture for me. I'd say it's probably hmm, second in the running, um, behind Spotlight for me. I'm making a review of that soon. But in terms of films that hit me right in the heart, this was definitely up there with the most gut-wrenching, probably the most gut-wrenching I've ever seen. I felt like the pacing was perfect, the characters and their performances were perfect, the sense of atmosphere and immersion was just out of this world. And I am very much looking forward to what Brie Larson and Jacob Tremblay bring us in the future because with performances like this from breakout roles from both of them the only way is up thank you for watching my first review i'm sorry if it was a bit you know up in the air and new at this but i will be covering the other oscar nominated movies that i have seen in the next coming few days subscribe if you want to see them you don't have to uh you can if you want no pressure <laughs> but i'm mainly doing this as kind of a video log for myself. I always knew I wanted to maybe either write reviews because I, I write a lot but I figured maybe I should try the video medium, see how it works out. Uh, and I quite enjoy it. I like it. I want to keep this going which means I'm gonna go have to see a hell of a lot more films. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of them.